So I've been reading the book Fight Club, and it gave me an interesting um, idea for I think what could be some fun gameplay. Um, so the main character, um, who's portrayed by what's his face in the movie Edward Norton, the, the Hulk, but not the Hulk in the new movies. Um, it's Edward Norton. Yeah. Him. <laughs> so, in the book, he refers a lot to um, this idea of his father who abandoned him and his mother um, when he was six years old because he started a new family. And he refers to it as his father um, creating new franchises. <laughs> Um, so I was thinking it might be interesting to make a male sim and have him move to all of the different worlds and have a family in each world and just see what kind of madness unfolds. Lately, I've been, I was never a fan of this story thing, whatever they call this, when, when it first came out, but my story. But I have to say, a couple of times I've done it just to kind of move through the, the new game menu thing, because you have to create a sim, um, and it creates some kind of interesting characters, so I think let's do that. Um, young adult. Let's see, how do I get by it? Intelligence and hard work, I borrow things, I mooch off of friends. I think you'd be that one. In the evenings, I enjoy plotting my next move. <laughs> if I'm traveling abroad, I want to see the sights, I'm thrill-seeking, it's to represent my company. Thrill-seeking. We all know what that means. I've got a pile of documents stacking up. What do I do? Sort them out, shred the rest, combine them into another pile, bury them when time comes. Okay. What do I most want to do on a trip to Salvadorada? Mingle with the local. Mingle with the locals. What's the best way to celebrate my big family reunion? <laughs> um. You know, I guess that one. But really it would be avoiding all the family. Um, did we really end up with that? <laughs> Look at his traits. Lazy evil. Yeah, it's nice to meet you too. And a slob. What a catch. What a catch. Standard, he has logic skill, charisma skill, and he's unemployed. You know, I think that's that's fair. Max, that's a fair name. <laughs> Hinkle. <laughs> Max Hinkle. Um, one thing that does annoy me about using this my story thing is that this is glitched out where then like you can't set their likes and dislikes on this screen. Um which is you know I mean, I know that I can go in later and and set them, but I like to do it at the beginning. I like to kind of randomize it and get a few and then like create the sim around that and I can't do that here. So, I, but you know, at least here I kind of, I have a story in mind and um, <laughs> I kind of, I, I hate this hairstyle, but I kind of like it for him for some reason. <laughs> like, why, why is this a hairstyle in this game? This mustache has gotta go. It's gotta go. We can maybe do like this. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the hair like that. <laughs> I hate that hairstyle. I hate that it exists. It's it's genuinely terrible. But this is the one the one situation where I think it's appropriate. I kind of like I don't like that, but I think this is a good one maybe. Um 
Yeah, let's do red and then we'll do like jeans for the pants. I'm not gonna go crazy with um with create a sim here. I'm basically just going to put them in some clothes. That's like always what I say, and then it's like three hours passes and I'm like, oh, I just finished creating the sim. I guess I'm done playing. Sure. Okay. Just why? Formal wear? <laughs> why is this even available in formal wear? <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Oh, I think he definitely pulls his hair up. <laughs> For formal occasions. Yeah, that's exactly what I was looking for. Just, I, I always just end up using this one. Um, what did we say, right? It's so obnoxious, but I think it fits. I think it, it works. Alright. So I think what we're gonna do is first move him into um, Willow Creek and, you know, have him start out with, you know, we'll just have him, he has the standard, uh, starting funds from, from that My Story thing. We'll put him in a house, um, and we'll find him a job. I don't know what, he's, he's a lazy evil slob. Um, I don't really feel like doing a criminal career, but we'll, we'll find something for him to do. <laughs> and then, um, you know, I think we, we go out on the town, we find our first, um, I don't want it to be a townie though, I guess, I, or like, a, you know, one of the randomly generated. I'd like him to have a family with like someone in th that has a house. Um, thankfully with the new uh, you know, story progression, there will definitely be, um, people moving into houses in different worlds, which is nice because by the time we get to other, uh, cities, cities worlds, um, there will be more people to, to be out here with. But, um, I guess basically the goal is we're gonna find a woman, maybe Eliza Pancakes? get into a relationship with her, have a baby with her, raise the baby until it's a child, and then right before the child's going to become a teen, we're going to leave, just move out of the household, move into, in this case it'll be Oasis Springs, um, and then, you know, just do the same thing over again until we've gone through every world. I guess I'll, I'll probably skip Newcrest because I guess the other option is just to, to build up Newcrest and then people will start to move in there. Um, but I think, you know, for now, I'm just going to skip that. <laughs> that can maybe be the end one. We'll play on normal lifespan and just try to get through as many worlds as we can with this. So yeah. That's, that's what we're going to do. Anyway. Athletic wear. Um, can I also just take a moment while I'm here to comment on... <laughs> Where are they? Is it these? Yeah, they just added these, um, in one of the, like, sim delivery things. And I mean, I appreciate it because we do... We seriously lack just very basic, like, staple pieces of clothing like this, but this could not be, like, a worse... <laughs> like, they just look, especially in some of the swatches, they just look so, like... Like, look at how much... They look chunky. <laughs> They're chunky shorts. What is that? Whereas, like... You know, what we need really is just another thing like this. See how that doesn't look like it has that much, like, depth to it or width to it? <laughs> I don't get it. Okay, let's 
let's just throw these shorts on him and, and move the hell on. Um, I almost exclusively use these sneakers. Almost exclusively. Um, no, he definitely sleeps shirtless. That's definitely a thing. And short, those, whatever, I don't get, care about the rest of that outfit. Um, this isn't the worst, although it's not really his style, but I have to say, as far as randomly generated outfits in The Sims go, this is in immaculate, basically. Um, do we have a red of this? Oh man, yeah, I think that's the, that's the one right there. These? No, that's a little weird. Sorry, I was just thinking about the word chunky. And then I think we'll also try to do, um, I mean, obviously there aren't, like, people who, like, there aren't people who live in, uh, like, the outdoor retreat, whatever that place, Granite Falls, or any of those things, but I think, um, you know, we can, we can go on vacation there, and, oh my god, maybe we'll go on a family vacation there and impregnate one of the locals while we're there. Whoa. But I'm getting ahead of myself right now. We're starting out. He's unemployed. He's... He has nothing going on for him, so we've got to get him to a place where he can take his family that he's going to abandon on vacation. Two. <laughs> what if? What if in the journey to Batu? I, I think this would have redeemed that pack overall if as part of that pack in the winter clothing like the cold weather outfits you had the option to wrap yourself in a, a dead tauntaun for warmth like you just were walking around in this like almost like a fur coat but it's a tauntaun now that would have been truly an homage to the Star Wars franchise. So, let's begin. Okay. Let's just start in spring. Because, why not? And, we'll go to Willow Creek, where it shall all begin. Um, we're just gonna move into one of these terrible lots. I... So we'll rarely play in Willow Creek now. So yeah, we're just gonna renovate this lot a bit to make it actually usable and, and livable. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Why? I mean, I know that this has been covered to death. Like, I don't need to go through all of this again, but really? But let's just kind of spruce this place up a bit. I'm not the best builder. I don't claim to be. I don't, um, you know. That That's not something that I consider to really be a skill of mine. So, here we are. We have our sim. Our dastardly lead for this, for this experiment. We have the house that is slightly better than what we started with. Not much better, but slightly better. And we have no job. His current whims are to buy a bee box, which I'm not doing. Buy a hot tub. Okay, maybe. And to take a nap. So you know what, for now, Let's fulfill that wish and have him nap busily. So he he has this extreme sports enthusiast. He his skills are charisma and logic. That we have because we started from the story. 
well, Lily, why are you asking me to go to Batu? <laughs> Let's just really think that through here. Why is this Sim, of all people, calling me up to be like, yo, you want to go to Batu? But hey, maybe this is... Okay, I don't want to exclusively ruin marriages in this. As we can, we will, um, you know, go for single women. But hey, I think she's kind of, you know, she's letting us know she's interested. Okay, let's be reminded of who lives here. There aren't many single Oh, well, there's the best friend's house. They're all going to come over. And this has both Liberty Lee and Summer Holiday. Okay. We have the very tempting choice of Eliza Pancakes. We've got this um, Vivian Lewis. That's her name. Vivian? Oh, oh that's the Alice, Spencer, Kim, and of course we have the new and improved Bella Goth. If they will ever load. Oh my god, she looks so much better. I I really can't even deal with how much better that is. Okay. Um so I think let's just you know, let's just play for a day and see what happens naturally. I mean, a sim day, of course. Oh, no, don't place the gods. <gasps> no. I do just really like the idea of Eliza Pancakes being swept off of her feet by this, like, really passionate-seeming man who, um, you know, seems so invested in starting a family with her because, you know, she's not getting that from Bob Pancakes. Um, and then she's just left in the dust again. <laughs> And then maybe she goes back to Bob Pancakes. Well, I have no control over that. Um, but you know, maybe it ends up bringing them together. That they're they're even closer than they ever were before. And maybe that's a beautiful thing. Maybe, you know, she sees what she was truly missing. Okay, so this was for not. Alright. Let's get back into the action. And I'm going to make sure that every kid he has has the last name Pinkle. But, you know, it is kind of unfortunate that, like, this there are no real consequences in this game. So he's going to abandon these children to start new families, and it's not going to mean anything to them. Gotta love these load screens. Okay. All right. Is, does he still have take a nap? He loves to take a nap. He just took a nap, dude. Just take that. Alright, but we do have to kind of decide what his job's going to be. Find a job. Also, take an umbrella. Too many things coming up at once. Um, okay, we're not doing any of these just because no. Athlete is definitely an option because he's he's got like the high metabolism thing. Um No, no, no. I, I just don't feel like doing that. No, 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 no. Yeah, I think everything else is kind of 
I guess the only other one would be this, but that's also. Yeah, let's do athlete. Let's do athlete, okay. Yay, we entered the athlete career. Jeffrey Landgrab, what are you doing all the way over here? This is the only time ever that I've wanted the, <laughs> the welcome wagon to start. Britney Show. I really don't get it. Like, what? What the? Are you coming to my house? Why? What? What? What's happening right now? I'm honestly intrigued. I've never seen such a thing. Why are all the land grabs hanging out outside of my house? This is apparently the place to be. Oh, goodness gracious. Alright, come on. Can we move a little faster than that, dude? Like, I don't even think I can have a real conversation with her, though, because... Oh, this always happens. I forget about Bust the Dust until they come in and do that thing. <laughs> and then I'm like, I need a vacuum. Let's just do it now before I forget, because I will forget. Although he's... you know what? Actually, no. He's a slob and he's lazy, so... He's not gonna back me. What? Why are you here? What did you come here for? What is going on? You just came to my house to play games on your phone? Pretty chill, get out. And I can't even select her. The game won't let me. <laughs> it's not frozen. It seems like everything's fine. It's just glitched out around her. Okay, everything is not fine. Everything is decidedly not fine. Um, ask for selfie. How funny would it be if she said no? She was like, not nah, you. Welcome wagon. Wait, is it they take the selfie? Just kind of standing there. Alright, so let's take this time to, you know, chat up Summer and Lim Lily, Liberty. I know all of this. And just decide who. I do feel like, based on this, Liberty and I have some things in common. Alright, let's do, you know, we're gonna do a friendly introduction to both of them. Oh, great new neighbor, sorry. Yeah, yeah, you all love the smell of the floor. <laughs> we get it. You know what, I never let them do this, but I'm, I'm kind of up for this taking whatever kind of turn it needs to take. So sure, you can search for information on vampires on the computer. I feel like he wouldn't be interested in Liberty. Um, why is Brittany Cho still just standing in the middle of all of this? Yeah, okay, we're gonna send Brittany Cho home because this is just getting ridiculous. This is just getting ridiculous. She's glitched. She's completely glitched out. You shouldn't be here, Brittany. I know you love to show up literally every single place for the Sims go. She's worse than Eliza Pancakes. People complained about Eliza Pancakes. She is the true offender. Everywhere I go, every time I'm just out, I just want to have a relaxing night. And she shows up and starts doing her thing and everyone's freaking out and there's paparazzi all over the place. Had enough of it. Had enough of her and her nonsense. 
get out of my house. <laughs> Why don't I have the cheats that the mods enabled? I can just get her out of here. Did he still not introduce himself to her? Oh my god. Okay, stop the chatting. Do the great new neighbor. And you go home. Thank you. Finally. Get the F out. I think he still didn't do this. He's defying me. Thank you. 25 years later. You know. Oh, finally. Thank you. Oh, God. Think about yourself. Talk about yourself. Let's find out what both of their careers are because honestly, it has been so long since I've played Willow Creek and even like looked at these characters. Okay, okay. I think this is the video game thing. That's fine. But I do think when that happens, that's like this thing. But we got a chance to chat. Like, she's into him. Alright. Alright. I'm still not ruling out Eliza Pancakes. She's still in the running. Oh my god, what the hell is this? Liberty, no one wants to hear your funny story. Okay, you're out. You lose. Not that this is something you want to win, but you're not it. Stop, honestly, stop listening to her story. I don't care. Tell her to shut up. Yes, Travis, you can listen to the story. Why are you here? Why do people keep, like, just showing up at my house? Ask about hobbies and skills. And then what we'll do is we're gonna go on a hunt for Eliza Pancakes. And then we're gonna make our decision. Summer's definitely into him, but we'll see. I haven't made the decision yet. Looks like we're gray. God, that's boring. He likes painting, okay? But there is something about, like, you know, Summer's innocent enough. Summer's a nice, a nice girl. She doesn't deserve this. Well, maybe. Let's see. Time will tell. Yeah, Liberty, just sit there and eat your... Fruitcake. Let's get to know him a little bit. He'll be our friend. Maybe he'll be the best man at our wedding. Oh my god, am I gonna do like a whole wedding? Why are you still standing there? Okay, so I'm just playing through this welcome wagon thing. This is almost over. And then. We're, we're gonna go on the hunt for for an Eliza Pancakes. Oh, someone, someone's upset. Probably Liberty because she ate the fucking fruit cake. But it's making him have a whale of a time. Okay, um, what was I just going to do? Oh, I was gonna... Take photo with Travis Scott. Let's let's boost this friendship up to the next level. And you know what that means. Oh man. How's our Oh, yeah. Yep. Best friends forever. Yeah, you should probably go. You're right. You should get going. You're right. Okay, stop dancing. This guy loves to dance. Loves to dance. Okay. He's, he's danced so much. Let's... Why did I put guilds? Why am I even do up here? This is not where I belong.
All right, let's travel. And not with anyone. By our lonesome. To the park. And let's see if we can't run into Eliza Pancakes and, and get to know her a little bit and see if there's a spark. I'm, I'm kind of torn. I really love the storyline of breaking up Bob and Eliza. Like, you know, this guy sweeps her off her feet and then leaves her high and dry. Um, you know, Summer, it's a little more straightforward. Like, she's just a young, naive girl that's caught up with the wrong guy. But with Eliza, there's no drama there. Again, not that that's going to have any impact on the game itself, but... Alright, let's see. We've got... Bess. We've got, uh, Jux. We've got, uh, this woman from Solani. Is anyone else here? Oh, we've got someone roller skating. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> Mortimer Goth mashed with the Gemma what's her face. Okay. Alright. You know, I'm not gonna judge. I'm not going to judge whatever's going on there. All right, how about you just go for a jog, even though he's lazy. That's kind of... Oh, drink energy juice. I don't care that it's snowing. Drink your energy juice and then go for a jog. It's, it's kind of just occurring to me that it's really... Um, it really doesn't go that he is lazy and has this, like, extreme sports. <laughs> uh, whatever you call it, aspiration. And that his career is in fitness. Aw, look at that. It's a touching moment between the goth children. Are they still merged as one? No. No longer. What a shame. Are they just going to stand there and continue to hug? Oh yeah, he likes fitness. He's lazy, but he likes fitness. Okay. You know what? If this doesn't work out, if after I get food, we're still not seeing Eliza, then let's just go right up to her house. It's not organic by any means. But, you know, sometimes you just gotta help destiny along the way. You know what I mean? But, um, alright, let's just, we're just gonna straight up show up at the Pancake's house and see what happens. Boom. Let's go. See what happens. Oh my god. My eyes legitimately so itchy. <laughs> this is what happens when you work in front of a computer all day. And then you play games on a computer for hours after that. Oh, that sucker that made it worse. Oh, it made it so much worse. It stinks. It stinks. What did they do? Oh, God. Nope. It's not good, guys. It's not good. Okay. Oh, my God. Eliza's just standing right there. I think it means it's meant to be. 
I think that means it's meant to be. Not even going to be, you know, or, yeah, look, and look at, look at how Bob just walks away. This guy just showed up at your house to take your woman and he just walks away indifferently. That says everything we need to know. This is everything we need to know. Flatter. Yeah. Oh, well, that was a pancake. I like your glasses. She's neat. <laughs> And well, that's like the whole thing with Bob Pancakes as well, that he's like a slob and she's neat and he's lazy and she's not. But you know, he's, he's different. Eliza Pancakes definitely has a type. Definitely has a type. How cute. Yeah, like really just, you know, schmooze. Oh, and away she goes. Okay, but that's enough. We, we've got our in. I think we we learned everything we needed to know about um, the relationship here between Bob Pancakes and Eliza Pancakes, and I think I think that's the choice. The choice is definitely going to be Eliza Pancakes. Um. So yeah, with that, I think I'm going to end this here for now. Um, definitely be back to play this again to have Max Hinkle and Eliza Pancakes. Oh my god, can we... Do we have enough characters to make the last name Hinkle hyphen Pancakes? Because that would just be so fantastic. Um... Well, you know, it's something to look forward to. I think in the next episode we will find out. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked this video, definitely subscribe, like, comment, share. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!